and we're recording. What up, what up? What's happening, everybody? Oh, you know, feeling like this <laughs> after Saturday's fight. Oh, man, what if I, I, I got my Canelo shirt on? So you can see it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I got to order me one. Oh, yeah, me too. For sure, for sure, man. Man, what a finish by Canelo. Dude, I've seen so many videos of people, like, playing the last 30 seconds of the fight. Uh-huh. And everybody's just cheering when he goes in on his ass. It was One dude said, dude, it was like watching the end of a Rocky fucking movie. It was like, really? Oh, I, I mean... When Rocky was getting his ass beat, and then he turned around and won the fight, but okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, I would say that was my biggest thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following anything on the online, like just seeing what how people are feeling, and the majority of people honestly don't. Well, the majority of Canelo fans are obviously like, yeah, we knew this was going to happen, right? But you have the the ultimate like Canelo haters. Leading with the Stay well, he needed he needed that knockout because he had been losing the entire fight. The fuck are you talking about, bitch? He's got full he's got full belts to this motherfucker's one. And, like, and what fight were you watching? <laughs> yeah, dude, even my wife. Even my wife was... the plant got desperate in the third round. Came out swinging, trying to put his ass away quick because he knew if he fucking if he let him go the distance, it was it. Yeah, yeah and I think Canelo played played it smart the entire fight, dude. He, he did. I, yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I think he I, did not respect, respect Caleb Plant's Caleb power because at all. Because if, if he would have used a jab more, I think he could have ended the fight sooner. But he was basically just like bobbing and weaving with his hands down, closing the distance, yeah. and then I mean, power shots. I mean, what was that yeah. round nine where he literally? Did the high guard and leaned against the ropes and then told him to come at him. And Plant did not engage. He's like, oh. Plant was like, nah. <laughs> the, I was like, I'm not falling for that trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's what I don't understand because uh, even my wife. Well, so right before the knockout, my wife was like, "Man, I need to see somebody drop because like this fight's getting boring." Because <laughs> you know, you know, most people when they think. A boxing fight, they're gonna think they're gonna sit there in the middle of the ring and they're gonna exchange. But this was definitely more of a tactical fight. I will, I will give Plant his flowers in the sense that it took Canelo a little longer than the other champions to break him down. Right. Yeah, and I guess yeah, if we're giving credit to who lasts the longest with Canelo, like Kalen Smith went all twelve rounds. That went to a decision. Yeah. Yeah. So Kalen Smith definitely for sure. Yeah, but I think Caleb Plant. Um, I mean, I mean, for me personally, I think he did a lot better than I expected him to do, based on the simply on the fact that I didn't expect him to go to such distance after mm. fighting such low caliber opponents leading up to this fight. Yeah, yeah Jose, didn't you call the eleventh round? I called tenth no. round, tenth so, so tenth. Pre- pretty, pretty close. Pretty but close, I, but I, I, did I did also mention also like. like that Caleb Plant's opposition wasn't at Canelo's level, but maybe we're going to see a, 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 a more a another gear to Caleb Plant we hadn't seen when he faces an elite opponent like Canelo, and I think he proves that he he belongs at that level. He's he's not like elite like Canelo, but he can hang with the elites, you know. So yeah, so he's he's more along the lines. He's almost borderline. Like he's almost at that at, at that level. He's a great like, fighter. What what I will say is. Um, I was surprised that he went 11 rounds. And my thing was, like, I knew for a fact that if he went 11 rounds, he was not going to win. Like, if he went past uh, 10, he was not going to win the fight. So at that point, like, now he's got, he's just digging down deep and he's got nothing left. Yeah, I mean, my, my Except pride. My, my own personal scorecard um, through 10 rounds was Canelo had sub won seven rounds and Caleb Plant had won three rounds. Mm-hmm. And I think that's how a lot of people saw it. Like even uh, Josh Taylor, another unified champion at 140 pounds, he's like, I don't know what, what you guys are seeing in Twitter, but Caleb played yeah. at most three rounds. That, that's how I saw it. I mean, only one that first. I feel I would give him the first, the third, and possibly the sixth round. Mm-hmm. Anything outside of that, I didn't really see him. 
I think uh, Canelo's body shots really. I don't know if you guys saw, but in that first round, when Canelo connected his first hook to his to the plant's face, plant had that look like, like, oh, I fucked up. Yep. Yeah. Like he had that. Oh my god, this dude can hit. He's <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> Did you guys see his guys body see starting to get um, um all red after all those like, yeah. shots he was taking? Yeah, like yeah. T- like he was he it was over. That was it. Like he he was taxed. And I think if if you guys are looking at it from like for example, I know a lot of people leading up to his fight try to say, oh well, you know, Caleb Plant has a big chance of winning because he he fights like Mayweather, you know, and yeah, I mean, I, I'm not I'm gonna say that he fights exactly like the same skill level. But I could see how he would have studied a fighter like Mayweather for his style. And right. if, as far as using the comparison, I think in this fight specifically, it showed how much Canelo learned from getting schooled by Mayweather on this fight. Like, there's a lot of situations there where before fighting Mayweather, when the, when the boxer would lean down, he would try to hit him. And this time while fighting Caleb Plant, he was using his right arm to kind of, you know, set the boxer up to then land a more accurate punch. Yep. Yeah. So there's definitely a lot. Like, you could see that. And I was thinking, like, man, this is, like, Canelo is now Mayweather, and Caleb Plant is where Canelo was. So it's up to Caleb Plant now where he chooses to go from here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For I mean, sure. Canelo, Canelo is the, the face of boxing. Face boxing. Um, uh, Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao was was sent out a tweet out basically congratulating Canelo, Canelo and saying boxing's in good hands, hands. Um, with him. Yeah. But, of course, hey, did, there's going to be Did you see the award he gave his trainer um, uh, at the press conference afterwards? I uh, know. What was it? So, he gave his, uh, so his trainer won a trainer of the year award. Um, they were saying, you know, because of COVID, they wanted to do it earlier, but they felt like because, you know, the whole pandemic, they couldn't. So this was the best time to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so again, the, 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 box, the coach of the year award. And it also happened to be his birthday. Yeah, so that was that, that was one hell of a thing to do for you, trainer. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Man, dude, um, yeah, the fight to me was super interesting. I really enjoyed it. It was nice um, seeing that, like, even in the scorecard, right? Like, there's some dude on Twitter saying that, like, oh, I don't see how, like, I never really needed that because, you know, there was tons there in the fourth and sixth round where uh, Caleb was putting together five, six punch combinations, and it was like, but they weren't landing. No, I, I think it's one of the later rounds, maybe the seventh or eighth round, where he landed a combo, and most of them hit the glove, but two actually, like he had like yeah. a combo, seven hit the gloves, and then the last two actually hit Canelo's face, and Canelo was like disappointed in himself, like, yo, I let that two slip in and hit me. Yeah, dude. You know what I'm like, that to me, that was crazy, because it's just like, um, so you guys know Twitter's amazing. Because there'll, there'll always be people in the comment section sliding in there talking about, oh, what were you watching? And there was this argument where they were like, oh, you know, Caleb was winning. And that guy I was talking about the combinations, literally the first comment to that dude was somebody putting up a picture of the scorecards, <laughs> asking him what, what fight he was watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And look at the, look at the punch stats. I think Canelo, Canelo had, more had more punches to do those, those, you know, 10 rounds than rounds Caleb Plant did. You know, landed, yeah, and landed and not not strategically placed. Yeah, and I, th- yeah, I, think, and I, th- I think Canelo, Canelo you know, maybe because maybe he did because take this he did fight, this fight a little bit more personal, more personal with that comment, comment. was out to hurt him. Hurt and him. Most, all his all shots all were his power shot shots, power shots. And, 40% and forty percent of his power, power shots power landed. landed. Normally, if you get forty percent of your power shots, power it's gonna end in a knockout, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, it's. I mean, again, you know how many people said he took a dive too. Oh, no. That wouldn't piss me off. I was like, bro, I'm sorry, but like I could see a dive in like sixth, seventh, maybe the eighth round. You go eight rounds, then you go down. This motherfucker almost went the distance, and you think it took a dive at eleven rounds? Nah, he, he it's like to Caleb Plant. He's he surprised me. He surprised me. Um, he could have stayed down after that first knockdown, but he got up. He got right the fuck back up. And his second knockdown, 
he still no, wanted still to go. Wanted you know, like he told he told Canelo when they were like having their like one on one moment. He's like, yo, I, I still want to fight. And Canelo's like, yo, you know, no, don't be ashamed of that. You know, you, you fought a great fight. Um, you know, and the sky's the limit for you. Yeah, I mean, you guys catch the the audio in the back and forth. I think it was the ninth round where Kelly Plant was like, "Hey, you're a good fighter," and Kelly and Canelo was like, "Yeah." He's like, this is a good fight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I miss that. That's, that's awesome. Well, no. That's awesome. Damn. You know, but that's, that's, respect, that's respect to that level, that level. you know. And, and there's there's going to be people that, that say, well, Canelo fought Canelo paper fought champions paper at 168 pounds. But Canelo Did fought he? the champions. He could only fight who's in front of you. But I, 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 I hated hearing that kind of shit because I'm like, this man has continuously proved himself and you got the nerve. To invalidate his his fucking experiences by saying, "Oh, they're paper champion, bitch." Have you actually watched the, those the, their goddamn past fights? I, the, the, these ain't just motherfuckers you brought up from the fucking boxing gym. He can't. Hey, man. He can't. He can't. He can't. But I think it's when you reach that level of greatness. Because, like, for the longest, I hated fucking Tom Brady. Right? I I hate it on. Um, Floyd Mayweather, but I think it's because I didn't understand it at the time. But like, bro, like you gotta respect greatness. Like that's that's greatness. That's that's just a level. And for me, as far as like Mayweather, it was more so I didn't understand boxing that well at the time, so I wasn't able to appreciate the the art artistry, artistry, the artistry behind yeah. Yeah. behind the way he boxed, but. Yeah, dude, like, I think now Canelo put himself up there with the Mayweathers, with the Canelos, with yeah. the Hugo Cesar Chavez. <laughs> Chavez, not Junior, but Chavez. Did, did you um happen to catch what Juan, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez said, I think, on, on, it was on Twitter or some publication? But he said Can, Canelo can never be the greatest Mexican boxer because... Um, He's ha, like he hasn't earned it the way other Mexicans have have earned it, and his championships have been um, piecemeal, kind of like. What does that even mean? What in the actual fuck? Uh, what does that even mean? Just just say you don't like him. Just just say you don't like him. Yeah. So, uh, and, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like, like Canelo, no matter what performance he he gives and what he does, there's always gonna be a flip side of someone saying like, oh no. Like they're gonna just discredit, gonna discredit that, win. that win. Yeah, as always. Yeah, because because like that's what I that's what I don't get. And and if we talk and now, like talk what's now, like, what's, what's next for Canelo? Canelo? Like what are his what list of, of opponents? opponents? You know, some, you know, people, some are people are asking are him asking to move up to 175 pounds. pounds. Which again, let's again, remember, remember, Canelo is five foot five foot eight with average reach for his height, and they're asking him to move to 175 pounds. After beginning after his career as a 140 pounder, and, and, and already <laughs> fight, cha- fight champions, champions. you know, like they want him to go, go against Arthur Betterbeef, who's 16 and 0 with 16 knockouts. knockouts. He's just a rush, rush, Russian, Russian machine, machine. But, but he's, he's Arthur Betterbeef is 37 years old. So if he fights so him, they say, oh, he, he oh, wait till he got too old, you know? Yeah. Like they're not gonna give him that credit. Like oh, he was chinny, you know? Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think. um Canelo should move down and fight. Like I personally think he should move down and wait into the one sixties range mm. and fight, fight, fight champions there. I, I think he's found his power at one sixty eight though. Yeah, I mean he definitely has a hell of power at one sixty eight, but it would give him a chance to show other aspects of his boxing abilities. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but I mean, yeah, if, if we go to one hundred sixty pounds. You have, you have WBO, WBO with, with Dimitris, Dimitris Boo Boo Andrade. Andrade. Yeah, Boo Boo's Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Give him that payday. <laughs> he wants that payday. <laughs> um, WBC <laughs> would be <laughs> Jermaine Charlo, Charlo, which I think that's going to be a dope fight. That's going to be a good fight. Him versus Charlo. And I think Canelo's Charlo, mentioned Charlo, it. Like, I, I want Charlo, Charlo in, in my future. future. Like, mm-hmm. That's going to be. Or a dual catchway. Meet each other at 165. Or, or just like or just 168, because like, 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 give the opportunity, give the opportunity for, him for him to be undisputed. Be undisputed. Like, 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 Charlo's not, Charlo's a, not a, a light 160. Like, he could easily have be moving up, up, in my opinion. 
and, and, and that, fight that fight is gonna just silence just a lot of critics, lot of critics that, say, that say, "Hey, can hey, uh, Canelo does Canelo not fight does not black fighters, black in, fighters their prime. in their prime." And now we got to hear that shit. Yep. At first, it was he was he was on his overseas tour, right? People were saying he wouldn't fight Mexican or or American boxers. Mm-hmm. Now he fought an American he, right here with Plant. And then shortly before that, he had bought Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., right? I don't even know if you could call that one a fight, though. No. It was more like a fucking... What's that shit called when you just spar? spar? It was like a... It was like, like a exhibition. Yeah, like a little exhibition match. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think, you guys of, think of, of Triple G in that trilogy, trilogy fight? fight? I think it would be awesome, but... I don't think it would be awesome for Triple G. You, you know what I mean? Like, it, I, I, it, for, it, it won't end well for him, you think? Or? I, I, I don't think... Okay, so, like, the two first fights, there's still that, like, inkling of doubt from people where it could be like, oh, it, it could have gone either way. Right. But it'll probably go... Who was it that Pacquiao fought three times? It was a Mexican fighter... Marquez. 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 Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, by the third time, when he finally knocked out Marquez, he was just kind of like, ah, should this have really happened? Yeah. It's that, like, I, I want... Because Triple G is... I really like Triple G as a boxer. So, it would be, be... I personally wouldn't like to see that third fight happen because it would seem more like a money grab than anything. I mean, I think, I mean, I think it's, I think probably, it's the probably the biggest, biggest financial-wise financial for both fighters. Both fighters. Yeah. Yeah, but right. I, I don't want to see it because Triple G is also <laughs> getting up for an age. I think he's 37, 38 years old. Yep. And, and he hasn't really he done hasn't much really since that Canelo, Canelo fight. fight. You know? Yeah. Like, he, he hasn't so really he hasn't fought really in any fight credible fight names. names. And I think that's the problem. So are you worried it's going to be, like, more disappointing than I, anything? I just don't think he deserves a shot. You know, like, like he hasn't he done hasn't anything done to, to earn, earn a third Canelo third fight Canelo besides just having the name. I, yeah, I think there's one. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, yeah. And to be honest, I wouldn't want to. Oh, if it's on that merit, then I wouldn't want to see it. And unfortunately, a lot of these fighters that are in the running to fight Canelo don't want to risk We're fighting each other and fighting each other. <laughs> right? They're just waiting in line and say, like, all right, I'll fight some, you know, C level, you know, maybe B level fighter. And, and keep my record undefeated streak going. So in other words, now they're padding their records. Yeah. 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 And that's that's what I think is wrong with boxing right now because there's a lot of good fighters around the same weight mm-hmm. that refuse to fight each other. But I mean, take a page from the book of Canelo, right? Like you want to fight the best so that you could go out saying you were the best. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he fought Miguel he fought Cotto, Cotto just to, just to get that on his resume. Yeah. I, I think, um, I think a, um, a good, a good fight that good I probably fight do want to see next for Canelo, Canelo is, is David Benavides. Benavides. Dude, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. That would yeah, be it. Yeah, so, so, both so, power so, punchers. Both power both punchers, punchers, both Mexican. Both and, like, and, like, unfortunately for David Benavides, Benavides like, he's like, been he's avoided. avoided. Like, he, he's one of the few fighters that actually understands that to get the Canelo payday, you have to fight some decent opposition. So he's been calling out Jamal Charlo. He's been calling out Caleb Plants. And, and nobody, nobody wants to fight, fight him. him. And Benavides, Benavides was, the was the WBC 168, 168 pound champion, champion, but he lost but his he belt lost on the belt scale. scale. So he didn't yeah, really he lose. Really he just lost it because missing weight. So I think that would be a, a good way for Canelo to say, hey, I beat all the champions, including Benavides, who lost his belt on the scale. So I legit got 168 pounds. Yeah, so I agree with you. I think that should be that should be the move next. Because then, then it really would be undisputed, right? Like, he can't say he's ducking anybody. And then that gives Charlo an opportunity to get, put some weight on to meet him at 168. Yeah, for September. So. And both, both those guys are PBC fighters. So if, if this pay-per-view did good numbers with Al Heyman and PBC, it's going to be so that would be That would be the three, that would be the three fights right there. Right there. Right there. That would be because he has he's under contract for three fights, right? Because of the, he 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 wanted this fight, so he had to sign for three fights. Yeah, 
<laughs> no, it's, it's a, so that was a sticking point. So it, it, it was a one-fight deal. Originally, it was proposed as a three-fight deal. And Canelo was like, yo, I became a free agent to not sign any multi-fight deals. Like, I only fight plan with the one-fight one, t- one the fight deal, which Al Heyman finally caved in and gave him that. But it might as well turn it into a three-fight deal because, like, he has the, the best fighters for Canelo at this time. So. What were the, ultimately, what were the pay-per-view numbers? I know we were talking about that earlier. Uh, over text messages. Let me check. I don't think they've, they've released yet. It's just like two days after the, the, the fight. So maybe by Tuesday morning, we can see some numbers. Yeah, because, dude, I've definitely seen a lot of people on that that have boxing YouTube channels and they talk about, about boxing a lot. Come around on Canelo. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? After this one, they really came around on him, and I think that's uh, pretty cool. Um, I, I personally think Canelo is definitely, well, I'm old enough to understand what boxing actually is. Cause you know, I, I watched Oscar De La Roya and Julio Cesar like at the tail end of their careers, but like all being old enough to understand, I think Canelo has been the best boxer. I remember hanging out at your house, watching fights, getting into arguments with family members of yours about who the actual best boxer is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's tough. I mean, I, I think Canelo's the best of this generation, and, and I'll leave it at that because it's tough once you start comparing previous generations. But yeah, I think that's where it gets hard because some you can only reign uh, on top for so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. And like, and some fighters just stick along uh, too long, like past their prime. Like Roy Jones Jr. had a phenomenal run, where he was just. Like, like having fun out there and beating people with style, style. But he got, he was still fighting still past fighting his prime and, and started taking those a lot of losses, losses and fought, fought into his forties and 40s got more got losses. More so his record doesn't look as good as some of these other newer fighters, fighters that have a more you know, tactical, tactical approach to their opponents and put it yeah. sooner. I mean, the fact that Canelo is what sixty? No, what is he? Fifty? Sixty? One and two? Let's check it out. I, I, know he's, I know he's 31, 31 years, years old. <laughs> no, I know. He's 31, but it's crazy that his record, like, he already has more fights under his belt than Mayweather had. Yeah. And he's still got time to go. Yeah. Well, he's already fighting he's with already his, like, fighting 15, with his, like 15, 16, 16, right? Yeah. Professionally, yeah. Professionally, right? Professionally, right? <clears throat> so what, what is it? Which means that there'd be his pro record and then it'd be his overall record. So he has a pro record of 60 bouts. Yeah, 57 wins, one loss, and two draws. That's crazy. What's the longest bout record? Oh, Screen share with us, bro. Yeah, who's had the... Take a look. What do you mean by mean longest by bout, though? Like, who's lasted the longest? Nah, who's boxed who's the longest? longest? Like who has the yeah? That's a good look. Damn. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and redo the um our pre-fight discussion. See if I can fix it. So I think that's gonna be. I got Jimmy Wildy. How many fights do you have? A hundred and Damn. so. Sorry. Let's see. It would be the beginning of the greatest start in boxing history. Really, he would fight an astonishing 28 times in 1911, finishing the year with 27-0-1 record. By the end of 1914, he recorded the longest unbeaten record in boxing history of 93-1. and one. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Well, but it says a total, like a total. He has a total fights of 130. He says so he's 132 and three. Damn. Damn. I, I, I'm not a boxer that has more belts than that, that, though. That, though. Yeah. So, so look, look up, look up Len, Len Wickwar. So apparently he was a, a lightweight, and he has the most has verified the professional, fights professional fights of any boxer, boxer as, well as, as well as the most wins. wins. So between 1928 and 1947, Wickwar compiled a record of 339 wins. 86, 86 losses, losses and 300? 
Dude, yeah, so, yeah, so, total, total fights, fights 473 total fights. Yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. So Canelo, How many Canelo of them did he end with one punch? Canelo's not going to get to that. But, you know. Nah. You can't fight into the 60s? <laughs> it, goes, it goes to show you, like, um, the boxers from the previous generation, just, just how much active they are to compare to today's generation, you know. Well, That's shit, wasn't it that kind of sport wasn't as big as it is now? Yeah. I, I, well, I think the problem right now, now is that boxing competes with MMA. So, it, 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 like a lot of eyeballs tune into oh, okay. UFC and other stuff. Okay, cool. That's what you mean. Because I was going to say, what's his name? Dana White was watching the fucking Canelo fight during the UFC bout. Yeah, he like was. he was, he was at the bar watching the Canelo fight. Yeah, and uh, apparently, um, what's his name? Like one of the one of the top fighters in the UFC right now, I think something Usman. Yeah. So he, before his fight, he was talking about a dream match with, with Canelo. He's like, what really excites me is the possibility of losing that that challenge. And he's like, what's better than the pound for pound best boxer versus the pound for pound best you know MMA fighter? In a boxing ring, and, and Dana, White, Dana White, right after the right Canelo, after fight, the Canelo fight, fight where he KO'd Plant, Plant was like, was "Nah, like, nah, <laughs> nah, we don't, we don't want that." He doesn't want that. We good. We good, we good on this good side. On this side. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. Like, I just saw what he was capable of. I'm not about to willingly walk right into that ass whooping. Nope. All right. So you guys are. Um, Ultimately, like, did you guys see anything new from Canelo that you guys hadn't seen before? Aside from how how he approached this fight, um, that that was the only new thing I took notice. Uh, just a bit of uh, more of a, of a mean streak. streak. Like I think I, I texted yeah, you during I the fight. I was like, "Man, Canelo's straight Canelo disrespectful right now." Right now. <laughs> I'm playing. Dude, yeah. that was crazy. That I forgot which round that was in, but like he definitely just put his guard down and was just leaning into him. Like, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, but other other than that, no, I mean it was it was, it was same old Canelo. I think that one of the announcers was saying like, "What does Canelo have to do to win?" It's like just be Canelo, and, I th- and he showed it. He was just Canelo, but he had had a little bit of a like I said, a little disrespectful side. He was in the zone. Come on, man. Your boy hit Ultra Instinct. That was like, fuck it. Is this what it means? Oh, it, it straight was some kind of like Goku, just reflexing, reacting. It really was, bro. For sure. Oh, shit, he's the. He's the new damn god of destruction. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> cool, guys. I'm good with that if you guys are. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. For sure. So you could stop recording and then I'll just chill on here while this shit finishes uploading. All right. Well, thanks for joining, peeps. Catch you guys <laughs> when we come back on season three. <laughs> Two weeks away. Two weeks away. Peace. Peace. Peace, y'all. Yeah.